Hey everypony, New Leaf here, and today we are back. Yes, back. Coming back to Equestria at War. I hear some things have been added in a Pony Fest online. Somebody also played it and was like, why don't we return to this game and see if we're actually a little better today? And so today we're gonna play this, and this time we're gonna try to do a little bit more on our own. <laughs> anyway, play. New. Yes, all the saves are gone as well. I want to see if I can survive as the Crystal Empire. We've also never actually played them. So we're still going to have some Overlord that is protecting us a little bit. But we also have our own little issues to deal with. It's going to be interesting to see how we deal with it. We're going to have ponies at our disposal. And I think, let's see what it says. New Nation. Will the Crystal Pony stay loyal to a quest or will darkness return once more? Ooh, we'll see about that. Ooh, you can also be Zebraika, but Zebraika doesn't have that much story yet. I think that's something they're gonna expand, but for now... Let's see, wait a minute. What is this? Stout Defender. Focus on defense, what? What does Stout Defender mean? Oh, oh I get it, depending on what they do. You get different buffs, I see what this is. But I think I'm gonna be this. We gotta be Princess Cadence. Let's see if we can do her proud. And begin. So. Do we go into this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not our info. We're gonna stay historical. See what that does. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. The AI always has bonuses on top of you? No way. Do we- I, I mean, I kind of want to try it, right? Let's at least see if we can do something in the Recruit. And I mean, we have Equestria at our side. We're not going to be thrown to the dogs just yet. Our ponies, roll out. That sounds ominous. It really sounds like I'm about to be chewed up. I know I may be in over my head, but that's what we're trying to do here. Sometimes you gotta try things out. Oh. Removing hands. Wait a minute. What's a hand? I haven't seen one of those ever since I looked into that book from Lyra Heartstrings. She insists humans are real in Equestria, but I don't think so. Look at that. Wait. What is, what is with these little yellow lines? Is that just because there's like mountain ranges and stuff? Yeah, look at that. That's drawn around the mountains here as well. We'll see if that's anything. We'll see what other things that are, are in this that are actually new. So, oh yeah, one thing I need to mention as well. There's a little bit of an idea that I have soon. What if there was a gaming show on this channel, eh? I call it... Wait a minute. I, I, I wrote this down, ponies. It's called Beat the Alicorn, and it's gonna be dedicated to many, many games. We're gonna see what that turns into. But, ponies, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this up more as things move along. Wait a minute. Wait, what? What's this? Wait. I'm trying to get over here. Oh, okay. So, we have armies a little bit already. Let's take a look at our economy. What do we even have right now? Let's take a look at... Production. I want to go into the, into this thingy. There we go. We could have a few more construction things, actually. Let's build those. Let's build... Oh, we have a little bit of land to work with, actually. That's real nice. Put this... And this, and then we can do something with military factories. I also want to do something with the railroads as well, but for now we're just going to leave this as it is. Railways. Everything seems sort of connected-ish. Okay. Oh, I get it. We have a little bit of a connection with the Quester, but Stallion Grad, ironically, we are not connected with. We have to... Maybe that's going to happen someday down the line. 
That's the Crystal Empire. That's actually coming along pretty decently. Let's actually see if we can, like, connect ourselves over to this area. Yep. This. This. And this. And then I want to be connected to this side. Yes. There we go. I want those to be both built. Okay, we have our little infrastructure on our way. Let's see what we can do in the center, I wonder. And yes, everybody, look at this. There's like little... Imp troops may not enter. Ooh, so you can use mountains as like little walls. So... So I basically cannot be invaded from the north is what you're telling me. It's actually pretty nice, but someone could like come through here through this little gap and get me or here But then how do I like attack someone who's like all mountain or do I just not attack them at all? Wait, I can't I literally cannot get into this without I, I literally if I wanted to invade this I'd have to go through this little gap everything else is mountains What if you just surround yourself in mountains? <laughs> oh, come on. That would be an awkward thing to do though, wouldn't it? There's a little bit of mountain here. Yeah, let's just put some... Wait, Stallion Grant, do you like me? Not like me. Your put ponies. ponies general. What? Oh, they have voices now. Your crystal ponies, General. Okay. Ponies. Let's see, can we put like... You? No, wait. Yes? I'm gonna give you a commander. And we always pick them by looks. Nice hat. I choose you. And... One commander. Oh, ooh, he has the better hat. It's you! Let's at least line them up on this side. Wait. Wait a minute. It's not quite what I wanted. I want to draw this. Front line. Yes, it can right click. I want to put this here. And then over here, I noticed. Then we have three other ponies. Your crystal ponies, general. Okay. Oh wait, they already have a general. But they don't have a commander. Um, actually just just go ahead and give them Wait a minute. Yeah, these are separate. These are separate ponies. But I want these three to be in their yeah, own. No, no rain can stop us. Oh, I I seriously like how adorable these are. Let's go ahead, give them a, a commander as well. Ooh. Better hat. Better hat. Demos. And, um... Magic makes us strong. I'm gonna also have you a commander. Hope we can afford this. We have a lot of untrained ponies. I mean, for now, it does not look like there will be war, but... At least let's give them... Give them some pony. Yeah, Shining Armory. You, you can lead them just fine. All right. So let's also assign them a line. Front line, this, this little area. And I want you ponies to start moving in that direction. Start holding the sides. I think Equestria should be besties with me. United Ponies Alliance Faction. Oh, so we're in a, fa with a, in a faction with a buffalo chiefdom. Oh, this. What about the dragons? Oh, is there like a scenario where the dragons just rebel against Equestria and then take over? Oh, that'd be pretty crazy. All right, I think we can start taking a look at some of the the focuses we get. Um, we can go. Let's see. We have a little bit of a smaller tree I see here. Which one do we even go for? Crystal strength, crystals, new order. Who do we, what do we even go for here? There's a lot of choices down here. Independence? Are we gonna, are we gonna have a little bit of a scuffle? Oh my, wouldn't that be like the ultimate betrayal? Like, um, just, you know, turn on Equestria when the changelings attack them. That's pretty, 
pretty crazy. Alright, I think we could start with one of these. Now, what is this even? This doesn't do anything though, does it? Or is it just like a prerequisite for some of the others? Let's actually go this. Let's actually go this. We get a little bit more political power. Let's actually start on there. And then, let's kick it off with some research. What do we have? Let's give me... Yes, we can... We can... We, we always want to have a bit of economy on, on the back. Research. And then... The thing is, we already have a little bit of things happening in here, so we don't have to worry about getting in trouble just yet. I mean, we could do something in here. Wait, Storm Era airships? Ooh, that also seems pretty cool. Let's give ourselves some decent planes, actually. Tactical bombers. I almost prefer tactical bombers. Let's go for this. Yeah, I actually, actually want this. Let's go. Equestrian Overlord. Look at that. Equestrian's giving us debuffs. Jeez. I'm gonna have to fight against that at some point. Free military factories. Hope we can afford this. Three. Three. Can we put tanks on this? We. I guess we have this. I guess we have whatever this is. Yuck tank. I don't know what it is, but you know what? That's kind of what we're, we're rolling with anyway. Let's give ourselves this. That name can be taken in so many wrong ways, you know. <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's just put them here. I think Stallion Grant isn't going to pull any fast ones on us just yet. But um, Queen Crystal Lizzie have to be careful. Unit, unit, there we go. That'll be fine. Um, let's see. Edit. What is in here? Engineer Company. Can I, like, put a little bit of a tank on this? Not yet, at least. We have to- we have to get stars first. Equipment production. Small airframe. Oh, right. We were, we're building airplanes. Which of these is considered a small airframe? This? I think that's it. Insufficient resources. Okay, we need more rubber. Oh, that airplane's chewing up rubber. We're gonna have to buy something. It's time to make a purchase. Alright, who of you lousy is gonna... Wait. Only a quest or even... No. <laughs> we that desperate? Yeah, we are that desperate, okay? We're trading with the changelings. Queen Chrysalis, we need the rubber, please. I don't know if she's happy about that. <laughs> you know, we, we it's all business. Don't... Please don't ask. Okay, fine. We're gonna get rid of this then. And we're just gonna make this. Perfect. So. Does this help now? Okay, we have a little bit of rubber. And we have decisions available. Let's see what we have in here. Taken once. Hmm. I mean, we could go for this if we get enough influence. I think that's what, what I want. I want more building slots more than anything. A strong economy is the backbone of everything. Let's just keep it like this. And let's let it roll out for a little bit. Oh yeah, we can push this. I don't even have any aerial bases. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was too good to be true. That was just way too good to be true. Fine, let's trade with Equestria, our evil overlords. Apparently. Who ever knew Equestria was evil? Ready to do our part. See, this is that ponies over there, and I still don't know what the deal with these is. 
Oh, I get it. They're also getting claimed by a quester, so at some point there may just be a war where both me and Celestia try taking Stallion Grant and we can chop it up. Wait, we're also neighboring this. Starlight Sound. Hey, Starlight Glimmer. It's not even, not even ruled by Starlight Glimmer. Zero out of two. Wait. Okay. At least Princess Celestia is taking care of us. What's this? Huh? It's too low to advance. Uh, da, 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 do. Oh yeah, I wanted to go ahead and start looking at the rail, rail situation a little bit more. Yep. See, these three, they don't even have anything. We could build like a little bit of a supply hub in here. Our lands must be preserved. Yep. I didn't mean to click that. One supply hub in here. And then we can just rail it up. All the rails. You. And another supply hub. We can probably put that here. And then just there. Nope. I'm trying. There we go. Oh. Perfect. That's at least going to help it somewhat. But it's going to take a while till we build all of this. Ooh, what's happening over here? What is Princess Celestia up to? Let's let's take a look, see. Submarines. We don't even have access to the sea. Hmm. Because we are subject, we literally have no rights. Princess Celestia is not allowing us to conduct diplomacy. Jeez. And look at this. No aggression pacts. No independence. Oh, it's just a game rule. Uh, what can we even do with Princess Celestia? Can we act? Yeah, something tells me that we're gonna have to fight Equestria at some point. I mean, what if we let King Sombra take over, join forces with Queen Chrysalis, and then take down Equestria? That would be... That'd be one heck of a thing, and I'd love to see where it turns. I have so many mountains. Why can't I be surrounded by mountains? I'm assuming we can't even build anything there, right? Let me take a look at that. Yep, I can't build anything up here. Yeah, same goes here. Yeah, oh, I start to see what the difficult thing of this is. We don't even have that much space to work with outside of here. We have a few areas down here, but that's about it. It's actually a little smaller than I thought. All right. But I still think we have something to work with, ponies. What? Okay. Can we put... This. There. Lavender rifle. Yes, we have more rifles now. Equestria gave us some. We could use those. But I think this is a decent start, ponies. I'm not as clumsy as when I played this the first time and started as Equestria and had no idea what I did, but back then King Sombra rose in the Crystal Empire and he somehow became my friend. Despite historical focus and everything, he became my bestie, and we had non-aggression packs and everything. It was the best thing ever. And the thing is, um, Queen Chrysalis still decided to attack me anyway, but King Sombra helped me fend her off. And he became big enough to just defeat her, and they, they, they basically, you know, had this whole land to ourselves. Meet Sombra, this was all ours, and, um, it was peaceful, surprisingly. Dare I say it. Maybe Sombra's just misunderstood. He probably is not. Impassable. But if mo some of the mountains are impassable, do we have something similar happening with some of the oceans, or are those all fair game? River Republic. Oh, well, you know. Yes, we played a lot of these countries before. I always like trying new ones out the way. What? What's what's this? OK, 
Okay. I mean, we can stop them for a little bit, right? Lend lease is cancelled. We don't get any more goodies from Princess Celestia, so we're on our own. Oh. At least we can ask to improve relationships. At least Princess Celestia allows us to do that. Whoever knew Princess Celestia was so mean? I guess that's what happens when you become a subject and get liberated by Twilight Sparkle. You... you become the subject of her teacher. That seems fair. Uh, what a nasty deal, eh? Let's at least speed this up a little and see something cool happens. I want this to finish soon. Actually, this seems to be almost done. Yeah, about five more days, and we'll have it. Speed, please! And Flurry Heart is born! That's how you give birth to a fold. You just wait 50 days, and then they are there. Okay... Oh, look at that. You can become communist. We became communist the last time, so let's try some a little new. Mining, eh? I mean, we... Wait, what? Oh, we have to choose one of these. I mean, what do we do? Do we go for independence or do we try to... Nah, you know I want to go for independence. There's no way I'm going to let those debuffs happen. I mean, we can still be independent and have a good relationship. What? Sombra supporters. Is there really gonna be a chain where we just find Crystal, uh, find King Sombra? Yeah, I think we have to go down these as well. Let's go for the Grand Festival. And begin. We just have to make sure there's no war when, when this finishes. Okay, continue, ponies. What? A specter from the past haunts the Crystal Empire. Oh no, you're telling me I have to push these out? Pause. Flurry Heart birthday. Mia Mora Cadenza, and today she's celebrating her second birthday. But that was just like five days ago. You, Is that how alicorns get thousands of years? They just like, after five days, are like, yeah, that's technically a year. <laughs> I see what we're doing here. Or the big cheese ponies. How do you fake statistics by being a ruler? <laughs> That's how. I mean, we, we already have Princess Celestia telling us what to do. Why don't we just pass that down? The royal family. I mean, the Nalicorn family's kind of cool. What? Equestria Games happened. Well, that means we... Wait a minute. Oh, that means we don't have to do it anymore because someone else did it. I don't know what I don't know what to think about this relationship with Celestia and me. I mean, she watches out for us, but boy, is she restricting our freedoms. So we have something happening. On one ordinary March day, you're walking through the streets. You stop near a souvenir shop. Poster. He potent, over-exaggerated, heavy change, languishes in the foreground. Pink light-colored fur and dark blue mane stops her. 
I hope he will turn to one day, she says quietly. Have you never wondered what... Sombra. I don't think I want to join him yet. I think I know who that pony is. That's his wife. Get out. Let's see, what, is, what does that do for me? Are they like in Rebels for me? What? You throw the invitation away. Whirling in the light breeze, it falls down. Are you serious? Why would you want that? You destroyed our country here. Turns away. She gives you a scornful glance as she does. You turn away, walk away, wishing to forget this incident never happens. Youngsters these days. There you go. That's just some rebel. You can forget those, really. What do they know, anyway? Bicolini becomes Prime Minister. Wait. Wait a minute. Isn't this, like, way over here? I hope, I hope they don't, like, come over to this side of the... Of whatever this ocean is called. Let's see, what's happening down here anyway? Yeah, last time I played something down here, it wasn't super eventful. Let's we'll see if something a little more interesting happens here. What the- oh, the Emperor's dead! No, I think that happens every time. I wonder if there's some way to prevent his death. You could like, put him into some machine and make him be immortal. Oh, Our supplies. land must be preserved. The supplies. Oh, we don't have supplies this way as well. Eh, I probably should have thought this through. Supply. One supply hub. Way here. And just... This. There we go. I think we could make them do some exercises and farm some points. Let's bring the goal. I think we should do that. There we go. Let's, bring the goal. Let's get some points, ponies. I think Shining Armor could train you well. Let's go back to this. What's this? Oh, look at all those smelly changelings. What's a walking block of cheese doing on my on the other side of the border anyway? Oh, jeez. Look at how many ponies Princess Celestia has. Maybe, maybe we should just send these three to the other side as well. I mean, sure, they don't super like us, but I think we can at least... Stave them off with approved relationships. I, I don't think we. Do our part. I don't think we could do that with Princess Cadence, actually, or with um Prince with uh, Queen Chrysalis. Let's just see. What if we? What if we joined those six over to there? Actually, yes. There we go. Come ponies. We don't have to be there just yet. If Stallion Grant attacks us, that's just how it goes, you know. That's just what we get. There we go. This is fine. Wait, they're walking on the rails. That can't be safe, right? Let's also look at the names. Look at the names of these. Kim Buck. Evergreen. Love the creativity of the names. That's always something I'm impressed with, how they come up with this many. Office of Corn, there we go already. Let's give... Wait. What does that mean? Oh, this. This has this little glint to it, so we can choose some pony. Right? Is that what that means? I think that's what that means. Go for it. I mean, we are building bombers. Why not? This is, this is actually kind of what we want. We want to be able to destroy their buildings and ruin their economy if war happens. Ponies are at the ready. Standing by. Um, how much has this worked anyway? Let's see. Yeah, we, yeah, we're still on this. We need more production so badly. <sighs> Wait, but that means, mean can means we can cancel this. And this, especially. Yeah, we're just gonna see how this goes. We're trying to build our way over to this side. And hopefully, we get armies done pretty quickly. Let's take a look at our deployments. Oh, they're about done to being deployed, actually. And this is also almost ready to be deployed. 
And then we get them, and we can just send them over to this side. Oh. There we go, new ponies. Oh, must be preserved. Join them, ponies! Let's go for... I think we do need a little bit more oil, but fuel is gonna be important later if the war happens. So let's go into this for now. But if the war breaks out, we're gonna have to go down the other side. Okay, we have four air experience. Why do we have air experience? Is it because we have this? Oh, we have a, we have a few planes after all. We have a few planes after all. Can we like? Oh. I think we should build another airport over here. But let's let's at least let the ponies finish this, because this this production line already looks like it's literally gonna take three thousand years until it's done. Keep going, ponies. I don't know what King Sombra is gonna have for us. Wait, what is this? Attrition. Attrition. Yeah, we need some. We need supplies happening, and we need our our building queues to hurry up a little bit. Yeah, I think they're training. That's why they're like moving. Oh. Treaty of Saddle Arabia was annexed. Is this down here? Arabian Republic. That sounds like it'd be down here. Alright. The Grand Festival has also been completed. I don't know. Oh, look at this. There's war happening down here. Look, I didn't even see this. Oh, this is here. Oh, boy. Four emirs, then we have something happening over here fighting. We're gonna get our fight very, very soon. I just hope we're gonna be able to survive it. Um, this. Let's go to the Crystal Fair, and then I actually want to go into Past Glory, and we're gonna... We're probably gonna hit status quo. Go. And let's just continue. Crystal See where this goes, leads. General. Okay. Crystal ponies are pretty cool. They're see-through. There, there's gotta be a lot of cool things you could do if you're see-through. Ah. Precise rifle, swift aircraft, and magnificent goods. Yeah, this is actually a pretty dangerous situation. Our closest hub is, I think, this. And that's not even in Equestria's side. Wait, our own closest hub is, is, I think, these two. And we need something to happen on this front side. I think this red is that we're, like, low on supply. We don't have much. And this also a little bit of an issue, but I think Stallion Grant isn't immediately threatening, so... Okay, what the? Playthrough overview? What is this? I didn't even see what that is. Playthrough overview? What does it even mean? So wait a minute. We have some new ponies on this... On this... That are supposed to be here, but where are they? They're still being, being, being deployed? Yes. They're about to be done, though. One more, and... They should be done. Another war. It's not our war just yet. Ready to do our part. Three divisions. This way. You can do it, ponies. Can we put something else in now? We're actually starting to gain a few points here. But this is actually going surprisingly well. The changeling lens. I wonder if we can someday just waltz them down, but I think they get to attack first because they have like some crazy early game. We just have to survive long enough and maybe Princess Celestia will save us. That's that's mainly what we're hoping for. Oh. 
Where are all these wars happening? I mean, this side of the quest is the peaceful. All right. This is happening, but I think most of the wars are just happening down here now. Yep, this is going to town. That wasn't there before. I don't see anything else, though. Not immediately, as it seems, but there's also a lot of sea action. I never realized this, but look at how many islands you have out here. You can have, like, an island empire and have to do a lot with the ships and all that. We're not that good with it by any means. Oh. I hope the ponies will be okay. That'll be fine. With another, enough magic, anything is possible. Magic makes us strong. Okay. Let's see, he has one division. We have to just rack up more divisions and hope we get enough to help us by the time Sombra comes around. We do not have many supplies. I think we should just stop this for a little bit and allow us to rack up supplies at least. So I'm almost out of time for today, but one thing that I just do want to see is what, you know, happens if some of this at least goes down. Wait a minute. Seven... Yeah, this, this looks like it's literally never mind. This looks like it's going to take ages. But ponies, you see, we're lining up fellow equestrians on this border. We're getting the supply lines ready. And something tells us we're going to have to be fighting Corsalis tomorrow. Maybe we'll, we'll see. But we're going to try to buy as much time. And also think about what we're going to do with our equestrian overlords. We want our freedom, ponies. We'll see how we can get it. All right, ponies, but I suppose with that, I thank all you lovely ponies so much for watching, and I will see you next time. And remember, ponies, Princess Celestia is actually real nice. Also, if you want to see videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and be notified whenever there's a new video. There's new stuff here every single day, including a pony who thinks he kind of had to say that, right?